the mighty Urlo of Ufo Mammoth. Good morning, good Hello. afternoon. Hello, thank you so yeah, much for- uh, Good chatting. morning, Dan. Yes, thank good morning. You. Yeah. How are you today? It's Monday, it's Monday. Yeah, Monday in here it's sunny, quite warm. So despite all the problems around in uh, our small village, it's okay, let's say. It's good. I, uh, I can't help but notice the art behind you. Uh, I see, oh. I see is, yeah. looks like some Malleus original back there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, right. I'm in at Malu studio, so okay. uh, you can see much oh. more. Some, is that Kozik, that Nine Inch Nails poster? Is that yeah. Frank Kozik? Yeah. Harry, so oh yeah, got, a couple of them. Yeah, Kozik, uh, we got a Nine Inch Nails, uh, Sinatra, and then there is a coupe with a ministry poster. And uh, th these were presents of, um, it was, uh, what was the name? Phil, the guy that was running the Rock Art Gallery in uh, San Francisco. Okay. And uh, when we did a tour with uh, Maleus in uh, 2009, uh, he was uh, so happy to, to give us these posters. And we were, wow. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's not yeah. a minor gift. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it is absolutely. So, oh. uh, that's great. Um, we put them in the studio and uh, we keep them uh, as gold. <laughs> How could you know? Um, <laughs> I want to talk first. I mean, I want to talk about the record and I want to talk about the change in the band and all that stuff mm -hmm. that you're probably already tired of talking about. Um, but first, you know, Ufo Mama, you did the 20th anniversary in 2019. You know, you, you had the, the, the 20 EP, you did, you know, I saw you guys at Hossabat in Oslo in 2019, and it was, you yeah. know, it was very atmospheric focus, sort of bringing all of, all of what UFO Mehmet was into this kind of more atmospheric, broader context, right? So yeah. um, you do all this work toward that, and you have, you know, and you have all this going on and then and then the band comes apart when Vita leaves tell me yeah. about that that moment like what you know and and you announced you guys are going on hiatus at what point did you say okay we need to stop completely and and take a step back well at the end it was um something that we were uh, a little expecting let's say because uh i mean the the the, um, the band itself was not so all together at some point uh, we had uh, some uh, personal projects uh, we were a little distracted uh, uh, touring uh, was becoming uh, difficult sometimes uh, and so little by little uh, our uh, friendship let's say started in uh, uh, cracking a little so when we did the, the 20, 20th anniversary uh, box set and record and uh, so on we had a, a discussion about what we wanted to do with the band uh, we wanted to change a little some of us wanted to change it some other not uh, and like in every band I think and after this discussion, uh, things started and went uh, worst. And the last two we did was uh, quite difficult because uh, uh, you could feel that, that something was uh, wrong inside the band. And after the tour, uh, Vita said, uh, I don't want to go on anymore. And we said, uh, OK, we, we tried in some way, especially Poya tried to uh, to fix the, the problems, but uh, I don't know. I, I think it was something that had to, to happen mm -hmm. and, uh, at some point. So uh, Poi and me had a discussion saying, uh, what are we going to do? I mean, do, do we want to stop it or do we want to uh, move on? And uh, the, the two of us was, uh, were into the idea that Ufo Mammut is a family, not only a band, so something bigger because uh, the band is not only Poi and me and uh, the, the drummer Vita or Levra, but 
is much more like uh, Ciccio, Lorenzo uh, that helps uh, a lot in uh, recordings, uh, Stefano and uh, Lou, Lou of Malleus, Malleus itself, uh, Steve Bontil is also part of <laughs> Ufo Mammoth for us because, uh, you know, it's something that we created in time. Right. And so we said, okay, uh, no, we have to, to move on. Let's stop uh, for a while. Uh, let's um, take a little, little time and then we, we'll see uh, what will happen. And uh, in the meantime, we received a lot of calls and uh, emails from uh, drummers uh, all around the world. Uh, if you need a hand, we are here to play. And it, it was uh, good to see that uh, there was a lot of uh, warmth around. But mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the, the first thing we, we thought about is that being a family, First of all, we had to search inside the family and uh, uh, Levre, um, we, we met him uh, seven years ago. He started as a merch guy, then a backliner, and then uh, as a, a friend. And uh, Poi and me got uh, already a, a side project with him uh, since a few years. So the, the, the natural course of thing was to ask him uh, if he wanted to, uh, to be a part of the band, to be Ufo Mammoth. And um, it was fun because uh, when we asked him, it was like, uh, oh, really? But it, it, in, <laughs> in a way, he knew that it could be like that. So um, it, it was uh, good. The, the, the only war, bad thing was that after we asked him, uh, we were uh, closed in lockdown after, uh, I think, two days or something like that. So it was <laughs> a perfect timing. And, well, that, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, that's the other so, thing is... is you know, Italy, yeah. you guys had one of the one of the, the first and the worst of the outbreaks yeah. to date. Yeah, because, uh, it was uh, so quickly that it was uh, so strange. And uh, apart from the fact that it was something that we, we, we had never imagined, uh, nobody in the world could imagine no. something like that. But I remember that uh, uh, we asked Lever, it was uh, something like a Thursday or something like that. And then on uh, Saturday or uh, something like that, we were um, eating a pizza with friends. And uh, on the, the phone, we see from tomorrow, we are in lockdown. It was what? <laughs> and uh, so the, the, wow. the pandemic spread. And uh, it, it was really incredible because uh, things uh, changed uh, totally. In, in uh suddenly yeah and, uh, for months we had to stay at home uh, everything changed and we were not prepared at all and uh, yeah italy was uh, uh the second after china i think so yeah. and then little by little uh, it became a, a world thing as we all know right um <laughs> so what were what were the kinds of changes that you were talking about making in the band um, in, in those discussions with, with Vito that, that didn't kind of connect? I, I don't know. It was, um, it was something, like, like I said, something that was uh, like in a marriage or in a relationship, uh, something at, at a certain point um, breaks. But I mean, was and, there something uh, specific you had wanted to to do differently? I don't know. In some way, yes, because we wanted to, to change a little, try to do um, things in a, in a different way from both sides uh, at the end, because uh, uh, we wanted to try to grow a little in uh, some ideas of uh, touring, uh, composing, and so on. Uh, on the other side, it was uh, um, there was another idea because uh, interest uh, in two different bands, and I, I don't know. So, uh, what was clear is that we were uh, fighting uh, quite often, and it just uh, happened, and it was uh, it was okay. I mean, uh, it, it's something that, that breaks your heart, of course, because after twenty years, uh, the same guys doing these things, and uh, it was a part of uh, of us that that left the band, and uh, and as you say, it, it's a family. Yeah, and yeah. and so I hope that time will um, 
clean our wounds and uh, everybody will uh, find a way to be good friends again. And uh, little by little, I think, uh, I, I mean, we are still friends, but uh, we are quite far now. It's, it's right. obvious, but let's see. Yeah. Time will tell. Yeah. In the meantime, there's a new film helmet album. Uh, yeah. <laughs> pronounce it for me. Ufo Mammut. No, no, no. The album. Ah, Fenice. Fenice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> saves me saves me saying it wrong first. So <laughs> say it just <clears throat> when did the writing start for Fenice? Uh, well, we, we started after the first lockdown. Um, as I said, we were already playing with the uh, uh, Levre. Mm -hmm. And so we had some uh, songs already done. Uh, they, they were quite different in some way from what we were doing with Ufo Mammoth. But uh, we, we, uh, we didn't want to throw them away. So the idea was to, okay, let's take these songs and uh, let's transform them. Uh, let's play them again uh, and so on. In the meantime, we, we should do a, something short or maybe a 20 minute song uh, like an happy or whatever, uh, something like a, a rising from the ashes. Yeah, it's like a phoenix, blah, blah, blah. And so we, we started um, from um, the, the, the arpeggio, I think it's in English, arpeggio, something mm -hmm. when you, okay. Um, that there is in uh, Metamorphonix, uh, with Poya playing guitar and me the bass and then uh, uh, the drum set enters and so on. We started from there. This was the, the skeleton of uh, Fenice. Then we started in building around and uh, the 20 minutes uh, became 30 and then uh, 38. Uh, and uh, we say, okay, let's use this one as uh, the first album, the, the first uh, uh, new for Mahmoud album. And then we'll, uh, we will have other songs uh, ready for uh, after these, uh, we, we can work at them uh, little by little and so on. And, I think that Fenice came out in uh, something like two months. It, it was uh, quickly. Heck yeah. Uh, because uh, first of all, we were a little uh, frightened uh, to be closed again uh, <laughs> at home. <laughs> right, so, put the rush on. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And, and then, um, I don't know, there, was, uh, there, there is uh, uh, an alchemy between us that is uh, um, fortunately a good one. So we... We started in, uh, in composing and things uh, arrived flowing uh, very, very quickly. So um, during the summer, we recorded the album with uh, Lorenzo Stecconi, that is yep. the guy behind uh, Idolum, uh, Ecate, Oro, and uh, so on, and uh, Yves. And uh, it was very, very cool because uh, we were uh, all together again and uh, it was fun. So, and we recorded uh, the album in uh, basically the, the, the main things uh, live in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. and then we added some uh, uh, vocals and uh, some other guitars or whatever. And uh, we had already the synths uh, ready. So it was uh, quite quickly at the end. And uh, we were happy about the results, and it was uh, uh, since uh, July when we finished, we were uh, super excited because we wanted to show it uh, <laughs> to the world. And uh, <laughs> the first song came out uh, a month ago. About we were uh, <gasps> finally, finally, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, so now we are super excited, waiting for uh, the first gig to, to play the the new album and. Uh, so times has changed uh, so much that it's uh, quite strange. Everything is, uh, you have to balance uh, between uh, reality and dreams now. It's uh, yes. time has changed and everything. So we have to uh, move quickly on things and uh, getting all these uh, things out. And uh, now we are um, packaging all the limited editions here in uh, Malo Studio, and it's a massive work because uh, we had this idea of doing a cover into cover and something. But then when we started imprinting them, we said, oh, <laughs> we thought too much this time. <laughs> Next time, <laughs> let's go easy, easiest, that is better. And uh, 
but uh, it would be a very cool album and um, I'm looking forward to see also the regular version of as for new growth, so it, it's a good time for for the band now. Excellent. I hope. Fortunate, yes, yes. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully it stays that way. Um, you mentioned sort of the the different sound in the band on the album and, and how I I agree with that, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Um, I mean, obviously, obviously a different drummer is a difference, but uh, you know, it seems like there are parts of the album. And I, and I love this, by the way, that there are parts of the album where it's like, oh, that's more atmospheric that, than, than I expect a new Full Mammoth record to be. And then there are parts of the album where it's like, oh, that just punched me in the face and in a kind of a different way than, than I expect new Full Mammoth to do. So it's a little bit, it kind of comes at you from both angles in listening to it and, and the way everything sort of, you know, I, I'm used to an Ufo Mammoth album tying together in the way that this does like from the song from songs to songs and you know you mentioned building out from around mega phoenix like that kind of idea of the album moving in multiple directions but there is mm -hmm. something but there is a different edge here uh as well i was wondering if you can talk about that and what you hear that's that's the difference well the first difference is that uh we have a new drummer, so right. obviously, obviously. Uh, yes. the way he plays is uh, different. And uh, uh, Lebre is uh, not only a drummer, but also a musician. So he plays different <laughs> instruments. So Sick burn on drummers. Yeah. Yes. So it, 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 the, this is a, a big difference because when you play and uh, he says to you, no, change that note and do this one. Or do this, try to do this. and. The first time you you are not used to that, right? And so you, oh, what? And then little by little, the thing you you notice that this is very important because, um, uh, as we said to him, uh, try to do a different uh, uh, tempo. He also tell us try to do a different uh, thing and so mm -hmm. on. So this is, I think, a very important uh, difference with the past because. Uh, uh, we, we have been used to play just without, uh, let's say, um, listening too much on, I mean, I, I could say to Poya, uh, uh, try to change the, uh, the chords or the, the way you play this, and uh, he, he told me the same, but it was quite rare that uh, Vita, that was a, a drummer, was, a, let's say, interfer to the... Um, the notes and the, the 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 way we were playing. So this mm -hmm. is very important. And um, moreover, Lebre is uh, um, more open-minded in the way that he, he tries to do sometimes uh, uh, drum parts that are quite complicated, uh, and he tries to make them uh, simple. So it's uh, it's strange, but. It, he started mm -hmm. very complicated and then little by little he, he dried the parts to make them uh, uh, looking like it's uh, easy, but it is not. And so we have to uh, <laughs> stay into this thing and uh, right. uh, try to make it in the best way possible. Like, for example, in the first part of the album in uh, Duat, there are a few parts that uh, it, took, uh, it took, took quite a lot to, uh, okay, we are, we are on it. Right. And um, uh, moreover, in, in studio, we had a, a great uh, help from uh, Lorenzo. Mm -hmm. Then in some of these parts, you notice, uh, for example, no, uh, Urlo, you are doing, doing it wrong. Try to do it this way. And the thing changed from that to that. So um, just, uh, I don't know, uh, like we say, stay a little behind in playing uh, we, we mm -hmm. were saying like that uh, go slowly and uh, and so there has been a, a lot of uh, different way of uh, uh, recording of uh, composing of creating the the musical process of this album as for the 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 sound uh, yeah it, it's different but it's not in my opinion because uh, yes. it's just uh, yes um, we just um, how can i say uh, I don't know the, the word in English. It's like a, 
taking some some parts to the edge let's say that is um trying to do we are doing a very low part okay let's try to do it really low and really atmosphere mm -hmm. uh, we will do it a, a, a very heavy part okay let's do it but let's do it again and and more trying to build something that was more let's say epic in some way so there are some parts when the, the album explodes that are uh, totally uh, like, a, um, well, for what a, I hear, a, a punch in the face because you, you come from a very uh, drone part and then it explodes and uh, so. Yes. I think that- I like those parts. Yeah, those are good parts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, are, and, yeah. Um, that's, that's a fun part. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was, uh, something that came naturally because we, as I said, we were already playing together. So we just uh, try to do more. And, uh, but uh, it's something that we all do together. And uh, we still are because uh, also rehearsing now uh, some parts, uh, we, we stop and we say, no, let's try to do it more like uh, this or that. And uh, so it, it's a process that moves on even uh, if it's uh, fixed on an album, uh, we, we try to make it uh, even better, let's say. So it's, this is, I think, the reason why the album should be a little different. And it's a good thing because uh, it, it's something that we have always tried not to repeat too much ourselves. And uh, I think that uh, the last album, uh, Eight, Hot, or whatever you want to call it, it's uh, was not so different from uh, Ekate. Uh, I think in some way mm -hmm. it was, but not. So we, we needed to change. We tried with the acoustic uh, um, songs for the, the 20 years to, to yeah. do something totally different. And it was okay, but it was easy because it was uh, an acoustic thing. Uh, right. So it was. Uh, different of course so with this this album we try to do it uh, in a ufo mammoth uh, way let's say mm -hmm. so is there anything was there anything specific about eight that that you thought was was almost too similar to ekate if i listen to it now after years yeah uh, looking back on it, obviously very... yes I'm not happy with it that much. I mean, uh, there are some very nice songs, and uh, um, but I, I don't like the the sound too much. It's a little low. It's a little far away, um, and uh, also some songs are uh, very similar to other ones we already did. And uh, let's say it's not my favorite one. If I have to think about. A favorite album, probably I would say Heave, mm -hmm. because it changed a lot from what we did before and from what we do after. Or uh, Ekate is another one I like a lot, and uh, well, also God Like Snake because it was the first one. But uh, Eight or uh, Otto is not so peculiar to me. Mm -hmm. So well, I think part of what serves Fenice so well is that that energy you know you mentioned before that there's kind of a it was you know in addition to having the the rush of needing to do it in case yeah. in case there was another lockdown uh you know i feel like what i heard first in the record especially you know coming off coming off eight was was that different that different energy um and you can hear it in in right away in the drums right it's like this is this is this is a different kind of boost that the that the rest of the surrounding music is getting from from the drums, I think. And I think it's kind of a reinvigorated almost. Yeah. So. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, th th there was a, uh, how can I say, an, an uh, urge to 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 make uh, something again, because yeah. it was like uh, we were uh, dead and then we were going to raise again from the ashes, ashes for for real because uh, I mean we we are we were uh, uh, something different 
and mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning we we thought okay never do the old songs never do this never do that and you know like when you fight with your uh, girlfriend and you say no okay never again never again right. then after little by little okay you you start again in talking with her and so on. and uh, it was the same with the band and uh, then we understood that uh, we just had to do uh, the things in the way we were feeling them mm -hmm. and so we were um, there was a rage in us because uh, uh, things were uh, finished uh, in a way, and there was uh, the uh, the desire of uh, doing something different uh, from uh, another part. Uh, then Lever that wanted to show, okay, I'm I'm here. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm Ufumamo too, and uh, okay, yeah. When we were saying yes, yeah, sure, let's let's show it and. So all these things may, made this album uh, the way it is, I think. Uh, and it's a good thing. So uh, a suggestion I can give to all the bands in the world is disband yourself and then <laughs> try to, to do it again. So but, you maybe... know, everybody seems to, everybody, it seems to get there, right? Everybody is like, yeah, okay, know you know, you I don't know. I just, I just put 20 years of my life into this thing and now I'm going to take six or seven months it doesn't seem that unreasonable yeah. right after after a 20-year stretch of ufa mamut yeah. to 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 need to step back or or you yeah. know to want to that's 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 pretty natural there are some very very short indefinite hiatuses out there yeah. um and ufa mamuts was not by any means the longest uh but i feel like the work that I hear on Finiche is a, is a provides a decent snapshot of why you needed to change. You know what I mean? It seems yeah. like, it seems like in listening to the album, it's like, oh, if this is what if this is what these guys wanted to do, then yeah, then that then that change needed to needed to yeah. happen. I think that comes across in the in the material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there is more freedom, I think, in uh, this album. More um, less bound uh, bound boundaries mm -hmm. and more freedom. So we we just said uh, we want to do this. Okay, let's do it, and uh, we want to start in a weird way, trying to do something that we never did before. Yes, let's do it, and so on. So it was. Uh, then there, there's a part we said, ah, oh, this is for Mammoth. Yes, okay, but it's okay. Let's do it, and, and so on, and. Also, the, the the other songs we we wrote and that we are gonna record for the next album, so we have to work at them. Are something that are really uh, different because we 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 just want to move on and do things uh, the way we we want to do. Moreover, we are old guys, so we say who cares about uh, <laughs> the judgment of the young people, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the kids. The yeah, kids, the who cares? <laughs> kids, yeah. you'll take this ninth album and you'll like it, kids. Yes, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, do you <laughs> totally lost my train of thought now? Let's uh, let's talk about live shows. I know that from from various conversations that the ability to plan anything has changed of course uh and and obviously the touring mindset has changed touring ability has changed and all this um that said how are you planning what are you planning how much can you plan you know you guys are no strangers to touring how how far ahead do you feel comfortable looking in terms of of getting out for this album uh, it's something strange because um i mean we have uh, booked uh, shows uh, till the summer and then uh, after the summer for uh, the fall there is a, a tour uh, that is uh, probably going on in europe but the strange thing is that um uh, you know uh, until i will be on stage i won't be sure it's happening because uh, also the the um, uh, 
the, the first gig will be here in 20 kilometers from our, our um, uh, small old, small town and um, it's something we wanted to do since a long time to play close to our hometown and whatever but it's um, we are even if the they are opening to the the people uh, so no masks probably again uh, no mask inside and whatever the virus is uh, uh, dying whatever they are also saying every day that the virus is not dying so much so pay attention <laughs> and uh, so I mean, I'm very happy because we have a lot of uh, gigs. Uh, we will start in a month uh, with this one, then another one in Italy, then a little tour in Europe with some festivals and some more festival in the summer. But I don't know. I, I hope it will be. It will happen, and uh, I'm looking forward uh, to be in the States in uh, 2023, for example, again and. Uh, but it's not so, you know, no, it's uh, a little uh, in uncertain. the air. Yeah, uncertain yeah. and yeah. always, um, but not only this, all, all the things, because uh, we, we are all a little scared inside, I think. Uh, also, when you go outside to drink a beer, you're always looking at... Uh, right. Uh, this guy is not wearing a mask inside. Oh my God! What? A... And uh, I don't know. I um, it, it's going better than two years ago because uh, we got the vaccines and whatever, and they seems to help in some way. But never knows what uh, can happen. I hope this virus will die like uh, it was with uh, the plague uh, that after three years uh, it disappears. But let's see. Right. Right. Here's hoping. Uh... Yeah. And, um, you know, one last thing, and then, and then I'll let you go. Uh, for, for you and Poya especially, how much does, how does Fenicia compare to thinking about the first Dufo Mamu? You know what I mean? Like a new, kind of a new debut 20 years yeah. later. Well, we, we were plus. discussing... <laughs> we were discussing last day in another interview uh, uh, and we were saying that when we started uh, the, the main thing was that we were quite bad in playing and uh, we, we still are but uh, <laughs> we were really bad at the, the beginning I mean we were trying to do um, a few things I, I remember that I was at the beginning, I was playing drums because uh, Poi and me got a, a band before uh, Ufu Mammut. And uh, when the drummer left, uh, I started to play drums. Uh, so we wrote a few songs uh, with uh, Tavor, that was the, um, is the cousin of Poya. And uh, then uh, Vita joined the band. Uh, but uh, we were not so skilled in playing. So the idea was, uh, okay, uh, let's cover this uh, uh, total uh, <laughs> incapacity or inability of playing with uh, a lot of distortions and things like that, uh, synthesizers, and, and it worked quite good. It I must worked, say. yeah, it worked. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that remained like um, um, a UFO mammut thing because you, you can recognize, I think, the, a lot of synthesizers uh, or this these things around and so on sure. and with time we we learned a little in playing better than playing live helps a lot and so on so if i have to compare the two things is that um when we started uh, the the first record uh, it was uh, exciting i remember we recorded it in a uh, uh, in the countryside mm -hmm. in the house of a friend uh, with um, there was this um tape recorder that was a eight channels that became after one day it became seven channels and then it was a six and a half channels so it was a, a fight to, to make it happen and, and uh, so but it was uh, I don't know it was so cool because we were doing things uh, uh, 
uh, by ourselves and uh, it, it was very good and we were excited uh, we were recording uh, we had a record deal uh, we were uh, doing an album it was a dream come true this time it was a um, in some way the same thing because we were uh, again excited we were in the countryside we were in a studio but uh, again uh, the studio of a friend that was super uh, happy that we were uh, recording with him uh, with Lorenzo uh, doing things uh, like we wanted to do so we were experimenting in, uh, in studio again and um, still quite not good in playing apart from the drummer that is uh, quite good and uh, so I think that we, we can compare the two things like uh, uh, a sort of uh, going back in time, but with, um, I'm going to say, with the wisdom that we right. achieved uh, in uh, 20 and more here. Yes. It is not that, that wisdom, that big wisdom, but just a little, a, a, a tiny one, uh, we, we, we can say. We, we learned a little. Let's say. Right. So, so it's, okay it was, to, it's okay to admit you learned a little in 20 years. <laughs> It's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, it's Better okay. Than nothing, okay. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's fine. Um, where, or let me say, what, uh, do you have anything coming up for the mod? I recorded during the, the, the first lockdown, uh, a lot of stuff. And um, we have the, I, I have a, an album that is uh, probably going out, uh, I hope, before the end of the year. Mm -hmm. and um, or at the beginning or beginning of next one and uh, it's uh, also this one is quite different from the first one because uh, I try to do something more in an acoustic way so more guitars acoustic guitars more ballads or things like that and uh, uh, I've also worked uh, I'm working on uh, another project with the Mon uh, with the uh, totally acoustic things, so guitar and voice and nothing else that uh, I hope that will come out uh, uh, sooner or later. I, I need to write the, the lyrics uh, and uh, it's uh, <laughs> something that is, <laughs> uh, let's say I'm too much into Ufo Mammoth in this Yeah, no, I, I mean, obviously, so, I, think, I think your focus I, is... I don't want to say I don't have ideas uh, anymore, so it's better to say I, I'm too much focused on uh, Ufo Mammoth. It's a good a good excuse, I think. I, it, sounded, it sounded good when you said it. it sounded good. <laughs> so I think you're all okay. right. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to stop the recording before I do. Erlo, thank you again. Okay. And congratulations on Finicia. Hold on just a second. 